Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Today, we will hit the random button as usual. I still haven't decided if it's biased yet. Because, like, I don't know. It seems like it might not be as biased. Maybe adding a character or two was all it took to uh, make it, like, not perform stupidly. But I can't tell for sure, because I haven't done it enough times. Maybe it's biased against Isaac. I mean, you know, heck if I know. So, Lilith. I'm really bad with Lilith. Lilith spawns with two items, but one doesn't count as an item. So we've got an Incubus, which is the uh, thing shooting my tears instead of me, since I can't as this character. And it doesn't count because it doesn't get rerolled in, like, reroll, build, build reroll things. Well, that's not what I want. I do need a bomb, though. Okay, so that gave me the compass. That can give me the compass, the map, treasure map, or the blue map. Get wrecked. I like doing rooms like that without actually, like, shooting. So, uh, sorry, last week there was no Isaac. Well, no Isaac besides the streams. I... Throat wasn't cooperating. And then this week there's not going to be Borderlands because RAR was like, Hey, busy today. Uh, not today. And usually he says reschedule, and reschedule means we're not doing it until next week, so... That's, uh, that's that. So there we are. Uh, one day, a couple games I've been looking at will be out. That's uh, Paranautical Activity 2 and Mother Gunship, but I don't feel like those are that soon, so... You know, we'll get there. One day. Can I have a bomb already? Like, come on, man. That's all I want. Is that so much to ask? I mean, yeah, obviously, but, like, why? Okay. Maybe there's a bomb in store for me this room. It's gonna be a troll bomb. Just watch. Just watch. Eh, or nothing. Come on, game, don't, don't do this to me. Thank you for at least giving me that one for free. That was very kind of you. I'm glad that those only hit you for like, you know, the very first frame that they're active. Pretty much. Because otherwise I would have just walked into one. That was lucky. That looked like it kind of hit me. So anyway, Lilith is probably my worst character. I really suck at doing well with Lilith. Okay, Larry Jr. I'll fight without duplicating. Oh yeah, so the second item I spawn with is Cambian Conception. When I get hit a certain number of times throughout the entire run, I get uh, Dark Familiars. Which I, I don't really like because a couple of them are bad, basically. And others are, like, nerfed. Larry, stop it! Thank you. That Larry was out to get me. Okay, Larry, come on, dude. I am not enjoying your presence right now. That's a damage up and a range up, so that's cool. Uh, then Box of Friends is the other item. Creates a duplicate of every unique familiar I have. So even if I pick up a second Incubus in the Devil Room here, uh, it'll only give me a third one when I activate it, not four. You know, not a fourth. Then I picked up the uh, Camo Undies or whatever it's called exactly. When I first enter a room until I shoot, I am camouflaged with the room and enemies don't like attack me and stuff. And then Belly Button 
drops a trinket and allows me to hold two trinkets. Uh, yeah, I guess so. This makes it so that I get two drops anytime I get a room drop. But, uh, no one agrees about its downside. So, store key means shops open for free. So, I guess I will go to, uh, check the shop for a three cent bomb. I didn't get one. Smelter would be nice, but I ain't got any bombs, so that's not really a thing I can make happen. So at least I got a damage up, but so far, eh, I'm concerned. Nothing I can do about that other tinted rock. So we out. Should be fine. Miss Tinted Rocks all the time. Okay, well that was nothing. Let's try this way. I like to generally avoid big rooms when searching for stuff if I can. That, you know, I'm not going to question why that didn't hit me, but it totally should have. Still no bombs, so... Eh, that's fine. Does the whole room for me. Look, the big room was the right way. So that's another thing. Big rooms tend to be the right way. So basically, I just hate progress. So I also hate these enemies. Hence actually activating my active item in this room. A nice thing about Incubus is it doesn't get range downs for whatever reason. Unless they changed that, but I don't think they did. So that makes life a little bit easier. So if I can stay far enough away from this thing, I can still hit it without it, you know, spitting stupid enemies at me. Okay. I wish I had my active item for this room. Boy, do I. I suck at dodging these things, but like, especially in this room. Because the rocks just make it really hard. Doesn't affect Lilith at all, which is nice. Secret rooms here. Can tell because there should be a door on the left side. The game really wants there to be. But since it didn't spawn next to one... The uh, secret room is probably there. Can't tell if those explosions were close enough. But I'm just going to assume they were, because I still don't have any bombs anyway, so not like it matters. So my one big flaw when I play Lilith is not taking familiars often enough, because I'm waiting for that second incubus. And I like when I activate my item for the incubus to be, you know, in a row. That's also a secret room door uh, implied, so... Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the top secret room. Heck if I know. So anyway, you get a bunch of familiars, you get a bunch of duplicates. The only thing that sucks about it is that... God dang it. Uh, your incubus aren't all right next to each other, which means they're a little harder to aim perfectly. I have no keys, so... But I have a shop key. Forgot about that already. I'll buy a soul heart. That could be a secret room as well at the bottom of that room, but... I still have no bombs, so I just really... Don't know. Bighorn's going to be a little annoying. But hopefully with four familiars, we'll be a little bit better off. Man, it's like these spawn locations are targeted.
Yeah, four familiars is doing pretty good work for this. So little Loki's pretty obvious what its effect is. Hence not saying anything about it. Health up was nice. I got nothing else to do here, so I'm out. Okay. Maybe this floor will have something a little better happen. I could use some tears. Wow. I also would really enjoy more damage, but at least I've gotten A damage up so far. So I would really most like more tears. Okay, eventually... I'll be able to escape this place. This is uh, a lot of annoying enemies. I'm bringing it down slowly. Really, really slowly. Okay, there we go. Almost. The keys are good. bomb would be even nicer. Then again, this floor so far, there's been nothing that makes that matter. Portal luck is nice with them dying first enemy. The shot angling on Lil Loki has been really strong, I'm noticing. Does not really help me. Ugh, this room is absolutely worth duping for. Unless they all want to kill themselves and I could have waste, not wasted, but... You know, that's cool too. That's cool too. Uh, so now I have to go do more rooms in order to hopefully get a charge for this. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah, I'd have to do one. Yeah, one more. That's fine. Batteries. I could do batteries. I was going to say, or greed could be in the shop, but that, that plan didn't quite work. I, I have no reason to reroll in here, so... Alright, let's run on over. A lot of backtracking for pretty much nothing. I, I don't know. Like, do I have a reason that I care to continue? I don't think I do. Okay. There we go. Okay, don't want to let this thing escape too far, and this is the annoying one spawning all these enemies. So I gotta kind of manage them a little, while also not letting it get too far into its crusade underground, because that's how it decides to just, you know, pop up and damage me. No, thank you. Another health up. The trinket. Greed can't be in shops. That's a little more useful than what I had. I guess. So now I can go into shops for free and there's no greed. But now I only have one more shop. Because I got a Depths XL. 
So, so far this run's terrible. Like, still terrible. I don't think I stand much of a chance of getting anything done here. Like, I need to not die before these item rooms, and I need these item rooms to be genuinely good. Because so far, like, I've just gotten nothing, pretty much. It's not too late. It's just pretty late. Okay. Yeah, this is worth it. I must be... I'm actually not getting near the first activation of Cambion Conception, I don't think. I believe that's 15 hits, and I don't think I've picked up enough health to survive 15 hits no matter what this run. So that's pretty fun. But if fun means something else in a different universe, we're talking about that kind of fun. Buddy. Hey, feel like solving a murder? Alright, like, that's good, but it is not what I'm here for. That's not the carry. That's my first bomb pickup, though. Uh, that was Are You a Wizard, I believe? That would be pretty sucky. Oops, I did that to myself. As I have no idea where that thing is, it's kind of concerning. Okay, I saw it, and now it's dead. Shop can't be greed, and I have to bomb for this soul heart, without a doubt. I could have definitely avoided the damage in that room. Just, I didn't. Okay. Whoops, I could have avoided that. That I could not have avoided though. So we got a leech, which is pretty much the worst. Uh, the one familiar that I usually don't want to get from Cambion Conception. Because that heals me for half red hearts every time it kills something, and it, you know, hunts stuff and tries to kill it. Usually that's a pretty bad effect, because that means I can't keep, like, Horror of Babylon or Polaroid Invincibility or this or that. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I actually could have used it there. But, hey, what are you going to do? Alright, so one of those being a stone fatty is kind of okay. That's really unfortunate. Thank you for healing me, Leech-san. I can bomb this. It helps. Can I have item room, please? Wow, I didn't think that thing would shoot so fast. I thought I was safe. Alright, this is a good place for the leeches to get me a couple kills and heal me. If they ever decide to attack anything. Like, since I'm stuck with them, I may as well embrace it, you know? And there you go, I'm fully healed. This is a tough life, man.
Okay, can only do this with actual angling. I can't do it with stupid angling. Wow. It gave me the pity open. All right. <laughs> I'll take it, man. It was taking me that long to clear that room. And I guess since I don't have tears, only my familiars do, it thought that I couldn't do it. Because that doesn't work if you can actually, you know, normally do it. Like, I've waited there with really bad range before, but because it was, like, technically possible, if I worked really hard, the game was like, nah, man, I'm not opening. I was like, that's rude. And it sucked, because it took me forever to complete that room. This is stupid. Oh, hello, hello. All right, there we go. Making progress. Oh my God. That took a while. Still haven't found the other item room. And I'm, I'm rather keen on doing that. That's pretty high in my priorities. Why are you an idiot? Thank you. Oh, man. How much health do you have? Consider dying. Thank. Oh, that was rude. Okay, we need the second one. Why are you stupid? This is very bad. That was a very rude spawn. I'm glad I didn't die for it. Alright, there's bound to be health somewhere. Oh, look who it is. A really good item. So that gives me a scaling damage multiplier based on the distance my tears have traveled. And, uh... Starts at 2.0, and at the farthest it's 1.3, so no matter what, it's a very good damage up. So it gets weaker the farther it goes. Now I just have to play the recovery game. I don't even know if I can access this heart. It's a half heart. Is there a heart in the shop as well? I think there probably was. All right, this is what we're working with. I am most unconfident. But it's the best, uh, it's the best we've got. It is hopefully enough. Pretty much nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go get that battery. I should have thought of that earlier. However, pretty sure I can actually access this battery. So, This is XL, so the first boss I might not want to activate. But it depends what it is, I think. Yeah, I don't need to activate for this. Okay, now that the leech is aggroed, it'll stick to its job. Even at a distance. So that's convenient. Leech doesn't like giving up, and I appreciate that. Of 
cool, and that's a Tears Up and a Soul Heart. Oh yeah, it's the annoying Red Mom too. I'm glad I saved for this. Okay. So at the moment, everything is much better. But I don't know how long that's gonna continue. Okay, I picked up the soul heart, I got everything I need, we're good to go. Good to go. Tinted rock. Not what I was hoping for. Also not what I was hoping for. Okay, so I've got like two soul hearts or something. One soul heart or something. Guess I don't have much speed, do I? Check for tinted rocks. Guess not. Oh my god. Alright, well, my devil room is likely to disappear this floor. By disappear, I mean never spawn. We'll see. Wow, the one time I trust the big room. It's like, what are you doing, man? I'm not here. <sighs> I actually need to shoot these poops just in case I get lucky. Didn't get lucky, though. Okay, this is pretty easy. Now it's done. That was the entire hard part. Don't like it here. What are you talking about? All right, well now we're at a half heart, so at least we get some invincibility. If we get hit again. But we lost all our Devil Room chance. Not that I could have really done much with the Devil Room. Honestly. Two red hearts, no soul hearts. Depends on the items. And like, if I get the right items, I can take them now anyway. So of course I've gone the wrong way every time. This is typical of me. Got to appreciate my life. Fine, I'll get him next time. So this is the time where I'm talking about where I don't really want the leech to heal me. Because it's strictly a disadvantage when I have one and a half hearts at this late stage in the game. So, that's what I'm talking about. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. This is gonna be annoying. Scan for tinted rocks. And then I'm gonna bomb through to this other large room. Got bombs to spare. This is fine. I'll try it. Didn't matter. Which is about the best I could hope for.
Thanks for killing a bunch of my enemies. Very kind of you. I was gonna say in before Mama Gertie, but I was like, you know, that's not cool. Let's not hope for the worst. So this boss, completely unfair. That attack is completely undodgeable if you're not lucky. Oh, I was stuck. I guess I got healed or something? I don't know, we'll find out in approximately a moment when I go to the next floor. Yeah, so that, that didn't go well. I guess I got healed. Now I have no map, but that's pretty much the same as me having a map. Like, exactly the same thing will happen. I'll go the wrong way, and then eventually I'll go the right way when it's the last possible thing I can do. And that will be great. I need that. Wow, that was close. I'm gonna leave. This room's completely unfair because if you spawn next to one of those uh, orangey ones, then you're just getting hit. Sucks to be you. And that's pretty common, by the way. Judgment, the world. Alright, well, I'll use this, because I have nothing else to do with my money, and keep the world for a floor that's actually useful, namely the next floor. That's exactly what I needed. That was pretty dumb. But it's fine, because I can heal in the next room. Assuming I, you know, don't die. Now I'm exactly where I start. Ugh. Okay, before hitting any buttons, let's break the tinted rock. Really, for once, didn't want the small rock. Oh well, damage up and tears up. It's good. Did I really do that? Alright, I guess I'll play that dude. Because now I'm in need. Thank you. Alright, that's good enough. I'll be on my way. Down has to be the right start, at least. Now, whether or not I go the right way anywhere else, who knows, but... I'm, I've am i started correct. This could be wrong, but... I'll find out before long. Should only have the door on the left and down, okay. I'm going left. Oh, why did it shoot in that direction? That's unfortunate. Okay, so now we have a dark bum. Which is fantastic news. That picks up red hearts from the ground. For every one and a half it picks up, it drops a soul heart, a black heart, or a spider. Either friendly or an enemy. Which kind of sucks, but we'll just get friendly, like, well, we'll just get soul hearts, hopefully. 
I don't even care about black hearts. Actually, I kind of do, because since I'm getting hit a lot, doing damage to enemies would be really nice. But I'm probably not going to live very long. This is another implied door. But so far, I've been getting the rare occasions this run where the implied door isn't the actual secret room. Finally made my way to the boss. So there's no value in a duped Dark Bum, for the record. Also, it's rather hard to see the tears in this fight right now. Yeah, I'm pretty dead. Like, pretty super, very super dead. I have to check, but like, I'm gonna die. Maybe even in this room. There's a Tinted Rock, though, if I survive. Thank you. Really could have used a... Uh, magic Mushroom. That would have been pretty awesome. Wow, those shots were, like, so well-aimed. For exactly what it knew I was going to do before I even did it. It's a wizard. I like how that killed it. I actually enjoyed that. Good chance of a heart in those, so... May as well check, basically. Okay, so I would love if the leech somehow actually got credit for the kill. That would be pretty fantastic. Why did I get hit in this fight? Uh, Leech, I'm gonna need you to kill that for me. Actually, no, I'm not. This is much better. Okay. So now... It would be awesome if Leech got in there, but I'm not gonna take the chance unless I get hit by accident. Because basically trying to get the Leech in there would be getting hit on purpose. And I ain't about that life at the moment. I'm not sure I'm... Okay, I'm, I made it, barely. Ugh, boy. I'm, once again, unsure. <laughs> Uh, so for this one, if I don't get it this cycle, I did. Good. I'm gonna grab a battery. And we're gonna go. I do have enough keys. These are not gonna help me very much. I don't want the little chest because I don't need drops, and it would just make my actual shooting familiar spread out more. It's not a useful dupe, basically. So continuum means I can shoot through wall boundaries, and they'll loop around. But, and it also gives me um, spectral tears, but it's not too useful. For my purposes. I gotta say... Half soul heart is the same as a full soul heart when it's your final soul heart, so that's good. More batteries, all right. Ooh. 
Wow. Wow. Please don't kill me. Can I have like a heart? Let's not make this too easy on me now. I wouldn't have been surprised if I had died to that. I'm gonna grab a battery. Wow, the boss is really close. Too bad my survival is not up to me in this room. All right, we're going in here, half heart hero. Incoming, oh wow, I walked into that. Okay, that's the dumbest death I could have had on Blue Baby. But the fact that I made it to Blue Baby is kind of amazing. Ugh. Cause that run was like really bad. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we, we finished farther than expected and that's all that matters. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.